Okay, go. Hey guys, I'm here with your Bible reading. Sorry, I forgot to mute the television. Is it one? Is it recording? Okay, hi guys. We are reading Revelations chapter 20, starting out today. And we are getting into the judgment of Satan, the judgment of the dead. And a thousand years is where we're going to start. What's a thousand years? What's going to happen in a thousand years? What does a thousand years mean? Well, listen closely. And I saw an angel coming down out of heaven, having the key to the abyss, and holding in his hand a great chain. He seized the dragon, which is Satan, that ancient serpent, who is the devil, or Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. He threw him into the abyss, and locked and sealed it over him, to keep him from deceiving the nations any more until the thousand years were ended. After that, he must be set free for a short time. I saw thrones on which were seated those who had been given authority to judge, and I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded because of their testimony about Jesus and because of the word of God. They had not worshiped the beast or its image and had not received its mark on their foreheads or their hands. They came to life and reigned with Christ a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not come to life until a thousand years were ended. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy are those who share in the first resurrection. The second death has no power over them, but they will be priests of God and of Christ and will reign with him for a thousand years. Now we're going to talk about the judgment of Satan. When the thousand years are over, Satan will be released from his prison and will go out to deceive the nations in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, and to gather them for battle. In number, they are like the sand of the seashore they marched across the breadth of the earth and surrounded the camp of God's people, the city he loves. But fire came down from heaven and devoured them, and the devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of burning sulfur, where the beast and the false prophet have been thrown. They will be tormented day and night forever and ever. And now the judgment of the dead is where we're ending Revelations chapter 20. Then I saw a great white throne, and him who was seated on it. The earth and the heavens fled from his presence, and there was no place for them. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were opened. Another book was opened, which is the book of life. The dead were judged according to what they had done, as recorded in the books. The sea gave up the dead that were in it. The death and Hades gave up the dead that were in them, and each person was judged according to what they had done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire, which is hell, which like the devil you will be tormented day and night forever and ever. What do you got to do to get your name in the book of life? Well, you have to turn your life over to Jesus and give your soul to Jesus. You have to accept Jesus into your heart and as your Lord and Savior and be saved and truly mean it. Not just to say it because you're scared. you got to truly mean it. And that's how you get in the book of life. Just by loving Jesus and loving God our Father. Who love us so much.
it. You truly have to mean it. You can't just, you know, say it. God knows what's in your heart. He knows what all of us are thinking and what all of us are feeling. So you can't fool God. Just, just know that. So you want to be ready when you want to be saved. It ain't just something you can do because you're afraid of what's going to happen, you know. When you die, you truly got to mean it. All right, guys, our song for today is Psalm 148. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights above. Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His heavenly hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all you shining stars. Praise Him, you highest heavens, and you waters above the skies. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for at His command they were created, and He established them forever and ever. He issued a decree that they will never pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures in all ocean depths, lightning and hail, snow and clouds, stormy winds that do this bidding, you mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, small creatures and flying birds, kings of the earth and all nations, you princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and women, old men and children, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His splendor is above the earth and the heavens, and he has raised up for his people a horn, the praise of all his faithful servants of Israel, the people close to his heart. Praise the Lord. And that was Psalm 148. And lastly for our Bible reading today is Proverbs chapter 31, verses 8 and 9. And verse 8 says, Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the rights of all who are destitute. And verse 9 says, Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and needy. Okay, guys, that was today's Bible reading. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, I'll see you guys all again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.